So hi everyone, in the first exercise, we're going to just start with the basic chair workout. All you need is uh, essentially a chair, and I got one here. Um, if you want to, you can also have your water bottle on hand, as well as a towel for uh, hy uh, hygiene. All right, and always you can always put on your own music. Nah, any any you know Christian workout music or some 130 BPM kind of music is fun to just get the heart rate going and also to just uh, increase the adrenaline and excitement. All right. So beginning with uh, the seated chair workout, we actually will start with a little bit of a head to toe stretch. All right. So we'll start with the head and then we'll. Uh, go down to the toes. So head up, five, four, three, two, one. Down, five, four, three, two, one. To the side, four, three, two, one. The other side, four, three, two, one. Shoulder swings so you can rotate the <laughs> shoulders. Either you can do swing the entire arm, or if there's not enough space in the room, let's reduce it down to. Uh, hands on the shoulder and forward rotation, exhale backwards, six, seven, and eight. Going to the bicep stretch, uh, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the elbow as close as possible to the shoulder, four, three, two, one, switch around, exhale, elbow to the shoulder, four, three, two, and one. Right, one of my favorite movements is hands interlock, bring it to the head and pull the elbows back. Head up, this is like a boss pose, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Likewise, hands interlock behind the back or behind the chair and extend. So you can see here, side, so on the side view, I'm actually extending my elbow, squeezing the upper back and opening up the chest. Four, Three, two, one. Very good. And over here, <laughs> not much for the abs, but you can actually just do a simple upper torso rotation here. So just side to side, side to side. Right? To the side, five, side, six, side, seven, and eight. Alright, all right. so here, <laughs> at least upper body is a little bit warmer now, right? So, going down to the legs, um, a bit of a stretch, ankle onto the knee, and um, increase the glute stretch on the glute at the back. So, exhale, just lean forward, opening up the glutes. Exhale, four, three, two, one, and switch around. Same thing, exhale down, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can bring the knee up to the chest, right? Just point the foot down, right? Point up, down, and up, right? Exhale, three, two, up, and one, right? The anchor rotation here. Very good, get away, four, three, two, one. Same thing, get the knee up to the chest, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Two, one, ankle rotation, side, three, two, get away, two, one. All right, so there's some basic warm up for the upper body while we are sitting in the chair. So generally, this is really, really easy for anyone if you're working at home or in office. You can just do simple stretching exercises, you know, and it won't draw too much attention. Huh? Anyway, hands up overhead, either hands cut together like so, or you can intertwine hands this way, squeeze uh, the elbows against the head, and just hold that stretch. Deep breaths, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. And exhale, relax. Inhale, exhale. All I want to do is actually just pull the arms back and pump towards the back. This is uh, 
um, just to get the arms stretching out as well as the shoulders working a little bit. Yeah? So pump to the back, exhale to the back. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, again over here, pull up, hands interlock or straight away, scraps together and squeezing the head with the shoulders or the arms. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, relax a little bit here. Palm to the back, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we'll do this one more time. Exhale, arms again to the top. Squeeze the elbows or interlock hands. Squeeze, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, down, palm to the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So usually for ladies, you don't really work out the arms a lot, so you'll probably feel a little bit of uh, uh, arm ache right now, alright? So ease it off, ease it off, shake it off, relax the arms here. And just flip around, just relax the biceps. So uh, we're way down to the abs. Uh, uh, <laughs> to distract from the pain here for a bit. So, obliques, right? What I'll do is actually I'm gonna just put my arms both um, down to the side, just relax here. But I want to aim for reaching uh, to the base or to the floor, or base of the chair or the floor. So, I'm tapping or I'm just touching the floor, touching the floor. Alright? So, We'll do this as a one minute thing, yeah? Okay, ready? Minute starts now. Exhale down. Inhale and exhale. So this is simple um, oblique uh, movement. Uh, you can actually do it standing, but since we're seated, actually, nonetheless, it still works the obliques pretty well as well. Inhale, exhale down, and exhale down. Breathe, 30 more seconds. So inhale one side, exhale one side, or just pace yourself as to how you wanna breathe through the exercise. Okay. Almost there, 10 seconds. Out three, two, and done. You didn't watch the time. All right, so just a little bit for the abs. All right, so just relax a little bit. As you go along, you can always, you know, use a bit of weight over time and just, you know, go down with the weight onto the side. All right, okay. So, uh, basic front leg lift, right? So exhale, raise the leg. Exhale, raise the leg. So, so we just do a simple leg raising motion here. So raise enough such that the uh, knee is off, sorry, the, the, the thigh is off the chair. Yeah? So just raise up, raise up. Okay, very simple movement. Ready, three, two, one minute, let's go. Exhale, raise. Alternate left and right is a very simple way of just getting the thigh activated. Thigh muscles moving here. Yeah? Exhale up, exhale up. Anyway, this same thigh uh, muscles are actually used for climbing stairs or for any other uh, uh, upward motion uh, in daily life, right? Exhale up, 30 more seconds. Inhale, raise, exhale, raise, inhale, exhale. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, very easy. So that was just to get a little bit of the thigh uh, moving. 
So I want to actually bring it up towards the hip flexor over here, right? Uh, via our progression. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to do some uh, knee circles. So you can see that actually now the elevation, angle elevation is a little bit higher, yeah. So I'm getting my uh, hip flexor activated here. So knee up, turn up to the side, right? And then just bring it back. Knee up, turn up to the side, bring it back. So we'll do alternate. Out to the side, bring it back, knee out, out to the side, relax and bring it back, yeah? One minute, four, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, knee up, down to the side, knee up, alternate, yeah? Knee up and down to the side. So exhale, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. So slow and steady, very good, inhale up, exhale down. So it's just a little bit of heat flexor, yes, but you also do activate a little bit of the lower abs, yeah? Exhale, 15 more seconds. Four, three, two, and last one, the other side, yes. Finish that set. Alright, very good. So a little bit of hip flexor work there. Actually, it's very light work. So if you want to, you can just continue to do your knee circles or leg lifts for a little bit longer. Generally, leg muscles are uh, much stronger than we anticipate. So go ahead and, you know, do for another minute if you want to. Like. You can always play back the video and uh, work through another half hour or just that few exercises that you enjoy, right? Alright, so the next movement I'm going to do is actually this basic uh, upper torso rotation kind of movement. Alright, it's uh, what we call the Russian twist. But I think because everybody's trying to boycott Russia, so we'll just call it upper torso twist for now. Alright, we'll start with the 12 o'clock position, so hands straight up, right? So what I'm doing is I'm actually sitting a little bit forward from the chair because I'm going to start rotating upper body. But I guess it's up to you, if you want to, you can just sit a little bit forward in the chair, arm straight up, you can sit all the way in, it's fine also. Like, arm straight up at a 12 o'clock position, what I'm doing is actually I'm doing upper torso rotation down to the 9 o'clock position, or your 3 o'clock position, all the way up, and rotate down again to the other side. So, it actually means that I'll probably have to lean uh, uh, a bit backwards to point my hand down to the floor. So what I'm doing is I'm pointing straight up, pointing straight down, up and down to the floor, right? So, so it's an upper torso rotation, yeah? So just ensure that you are turning upper body a little bit more, right? Ex inhale at the top, ready, three, two, let's go, one minute, exhale down, inhale at the top, exhale down, inhale, exhale down. Inhale at the top, exhale, turn, turn. Right. So so you don't have to like don't don't need to like bend too low. So we're just focusing on upper torso rotation. So the arms are just meant to point and encourage this shoulder to turn a little bit more to the side now. Yeah? Just make sure you're just turning upper body. Doing good. Breathe through the exercise. Don't hold your breath. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one minute done. All right. Very good. You would have activated a little bit of the hip flexor, sure, but ultimately it's working the upper torso, a little bit of the upper abdominals as well, yeah. Alright, I'm going to move on to <laughs> bicycle. Okay, you do need to shift a little bit more forward onto the chair. Alright, because with bicycle, yeah, um, I'm going to actually kick out. I mean, you need to lean back. You need to lean back a little bit to counter the weight of your legs lifting up. So what I'm doing is I'm actually exhale, kicking out, kicking out, kicking out. So if you want to, you can uh, grab 
or kept the back of the chair or side of the chair or you really want to counter the weight well, you know, without holding the chair hands on the side lean back, so, so you got to really shift up lean back, lean chair you know, lean back towards the chair and then exhale, legs kick out, kick out alright so if you're going a little bit higher, that's also fine uh, if your hip flexors are not so strong high is okay but for those who are cyclists or who have stronger hip flexors you want to have the legs a little bit um, how you say, straighter right? parallel to the ground exhale, kick out, kick out lower you know, but control Alright, ready? One minute, three, two, one, knees up, lean back and exhale, kick out and out. Inhale, exhale. So again, if it's easier, just lean back into the chair, grab the chair. Kick out, kick out. A little breathe now. Inhale and exhale. Almost there. Breathe through the exercise. Over. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and done. <laughs> all right, all right. Relax off the hip flexors. All right. If you want to stretch out the hip flexor, right, what we're going to do is actually half seat. I'm going to sit on this half of the chair. What I'm doing is you either, you either step that leg all the way back or you can grab the foot and just do a bit of quad stretch. So you do a bit of quad stretch first, and then you step back into a hip flexor stretch. All right, inhale, exhale, hold it here first. Deep breath. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Foot, step back. We're right, gonna straighten the back leg and just hold that there for hip flexor stretch. Inhale, exhale. Stretch out that hip flexor. Three, two, and one. Switch to the other half of the chair. All right. Quad stretch. Over here. It's a stretch, yeah. So you still need to breathe through the exercise. It's, an, it's, it's, an, uh, it's called eccentric exercise. So. Don't hold your breath so for this. Inhale, exhale, three, two, one. And same thing, step back, right? So as far as I can, step two, and just hold that there, hip flexor stretch. Now I'm still sitting on that half of the chair. Most of my weight is on this, not on the back foot. All right, four, three, two, and one, relax. Right, very good. We need to move on to the next, the next exercise. We're gonna have to do a bit of standing uh, and sitting, yeah. So, all right. So the next movement, we're gonna have to do some sitting to standing movement, right? So this is what I would just term as the seated squat. So you're just coming down to the seated position, stand up, down, and up, right? So it's not much work, but it's gonna be basically targeting the thighs as we. You know, come down into a sit position and then stand up again. Yeah? So, one minute, ready, three, two, one, and let's go. Exhale down and up. So, it's up to you if you want to, you can just have your feet on the side of the front two legs or within the front two legs. This is a small squat, right? And then a little bit wider, that's you can call it a sumo squat as well. Alright, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, breathe through the workout. Doing good. Breathe and breathe. So, this is 
do, you know, uh, essentially me demonstrating the exercise just shows that it's very easy to do these kinds of uh, exercises at home or uh, anytime at your own convenience, even office. Almost there and done. All right, so that was not so difficult, right? So silhouette squat is very straightforward and easy movement. So we're gonna do the rest of the exercises in a standing position, right? One of them will be to come into an aeroplane position, all right? But we have an assistance with the chair. So um, in terms of, say, going to aeroplane mode, what I'm do is actually come down, you know, you can have my hand, you know, just pressing the chair or down onto the chair, but I'm going to essentially lift the back of my leg upwards. We just start with one side first. So we're going to hold that for one minute. And yeah, the chair is just meant for balance, right? So the idea is to hold your leg, the back leg as high as you can, squeezing the glute, and the arms, uh, arms are just to help balance, oh, sorry, the chair as well. So if you don't want to, not having any support helps to train the foot, the muscles in the foot in balancing, all right? So we'll just hold this here for one minute. Ready, three, two, one. Exhale, kick back, leg backwards, arms outstretch. <laughs> and hold on to the furniture if you want to. Yeah? So exhale, hold it back here. Doesn't have to be too high if you're just starting off. It's okay to, you know, uh, have it a little bit lower. It's gonna be straining on your hamstring, so it's okay to just hold it back here. But if you're able to occasionally lift it a little bit higher, just bring it up, make sure you are squeezing the glute here, yeah? Of course, you are essentially working the, the leg that's on the floor. Hamstring as well as the glute of this leg. Very good, keep holding this position here. Yeah? Almost there. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right? So you should feel a bit of a burn in this leg here. All right, we are ready for the other side. All right, and four, three, two, one, leg backwards, and just hold it here. All right, so this leg is the stabilized. I mean, obviously, it's the leg that's been uh, holding the balance. So just hold onto the furniture. Otherwise, likewise, if you don't want two hands outstretched like an aeroplane. Breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to squeeze the glutes. Almost there. All right, almost 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, exhale and relax. And again, shake it off, shake off the ache. Very good. All right, so I'm going to continue using the chair for some of the supposedly vigorous exercises may just bring a notch, bring a notch down because uh, essentially you know, the chairs are meant to help <laughs> with some of the workouts. So um, I have a, the, my surface on the floor is, uh, there's a lot of friction, it's on a carpet. So if I'm going to apply weight from the side, it will not move. But of course, you can always put the chair on top of a uh, mat, right? To increase the friction or you know, you can always change it up to a table because I'm going to go into a push-up position now, right? So this one, it totally depends on how you want to do your push-up movement. You can either have your hands directly on top of this, which is the ideal scenario, and then the rest of your body is straight, all right? So then when you go into the push-up position, the chair will not slide away. But of course, if you, you know, if you are more comfortable with hands on the side, of the chair and then coming down at a bit of an angle um, just make sure that the floor is not slippery for your chair okay. and 
a basic movement would be just lowering the body such that uh, the elbow comes up to about uh, uh, alignment with the spine, right? And then push back up. It's over here. Same thing. Elbow comes up to alignment with the spine, and then push back up. All right. Ready? One minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Slow and steady. Exhale down. And up. Inhale at the top. Exhale down. Right. So I think if you want to turn the chair, whichever way is comfortable for you to so optimize your workout, go ahead and do that. Remember to keep the body straight. Do not hitch the glutes all the way up. It doesn't. It doesn't really uh, help the workout. We're supposed to really train the arms here, you know. Exhale up. Kneel down. Exhale up. Keep going. aching when you do the push-up okay it depends on certain number of um, uh, depends on the movement and also how well toned your muscles are so the idea of doing push-up is that chest muscles here should ache all right bringing coming down to from the ribs up to the sternum here a little bit of triceps as well and maybe a bit of upper back all right so but mostly it's here biceps triceps and chest muscles yeah okay so that's push-ups we're gonna hold that position but we're gonna go into bird dog so it's a dynamic movement for the glutes hands down here both hands down here right so now you can hitch your legs up as high as you want but uh, so it's a bit of like a mini plank pose yeah so both elbows down here or you can hold the push-up position all right and what i'm gonna do is actually bring my leg up into a uh, bird dog position, but I guess I think it's quite easy, right? So just exhale, both arms and legs out, alternate arm and leg. Crunch and extend, crunch, extend. So one minute, one side. Let's go. Three, two, one. Crunch and kick, and crunch, elbow to knee, and extend. I'm just using the chair as a way of uh, uh, balancing, you know? And extend out, inhale, and exhale. I'm using a count out timer, so I actually can't remember where I stopped at. So I'm going to just guess we need another 20 seconds. Inhale and exhale. Keep going. Almost there. Two, one, and done. Alright, relax the leg. Again, it's the leg on the floor that is getting most of the work because it's taking the weight of the entire body. Yeah? Alright, ready? Inhale, exhale. We're going to go the other side. Crunch alternate leg and arm. Alright, and 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, and crunch, extend one minute. The other side. Inhale, Inhale, exhale, push up. Very good. 
So it, it's up to you how high you want to raise the leg. If you want to, you can always go a little bit higher, but it will increase the stretch on the hip, uh, on the hamstring that's of the leg that's on the floor. Yeah? Exhale out and exhale lift. Exhale lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Very good, relax and shake it off, you know. Right, so let's take note of the muscles that are uh, aching and so on, so that when you do your own cool down, you will know, uh, you know, at least experience the muscle stretching out in a while, alright? Alright, I'm gonna go for another one, two, three, four more movements before we close the exercise, yeah? So, overhead reach. We're going to stay in the plank, sorry, because this is a push up position. Alright, so exhale over here, really just to reach up to the side, down, switch the other side, and reach. Alright, so this is just to increase uh, the weight on that our arms bear during the next one minute. Yeah? Ready? 3, 2, 1, 1 minute, let's go. Exhale up, and rotate that way. Inhale, exhale up. So the legs are just meant to pivot, yeah? So you don't have to like shift the legs or the weight. Just pivot the legs. Exhale, turn. Almost there. Turn five, four, all right, three, two, and one. Go to the other side and relax. Bring it back to recovery. Can relax the arms and legs. Mountain climbers, so take a breather or demo. Mountain climber, you even have this here. Turn the chair, whichever is comfortable for you. Although mountain climber um, depends on how again how slippery is your floor. Uh, if you don't have any friction for the chair to stay here, uh, mountain climber you can go as slow as um, uh, just lifting the foot up here to the chair, back, lift the foot up to the chair, a bit of the hip flexor, sorry inner thigh stretch and down. Okay, so this is slow and steady up and down. Lift the chair, leg up to the chair and down. Alright, so this is the easier way for the mountain climber. But of course, if you want to go a bit faster, you can just tap, 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 tap using the chair. Yeah? Alright, ready? One minute. Let's come down into the main, the push up position. Three, two, one minute. Exhale, let's go. And lift the foot, lift the foot. So you can go slower, or oh, chair is slippery, so remember to have your shoulders over the chair so it doesn't slide around, yeah? Exhale up, exhale up. Keep going, 15 seconds. So a little bit of abdominal work as well as arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And done, all right. I think that's the one minute. All right, relax. <laughs> Shake off the shoulders, the uh, arms, the biceps. Very good. Breathe, breathe. Breathe. And we're going to come down into plank before we close with the bridge. So plank, uh, 
uh, plank you're going to come on to your elbows here, yeah? but it's not dynamic, so you just need to do a static hold for the plank. Elbows down here, all right, legs all the way back, and just hold that there. Yeah? So, plank, all right, ready to come down into the uh, elbows onto the chair. One, two, uh, you can either hug, hug the chair on the sides or just fist your hands, you know? So the idea of the plank is to just hold it here uh, without moving the arms or legs. Static hold. All right, ready? Three, two, one, one minute hold. Or if you, <laughs> you are doing the plank for the first time, uh, go for 40 seconds, 45 seconds. Uh, that's also good. Although I admit that when I started out, 15 seconds, Oh, sorry, no, not even 15. I think it was 8 seconds was my first plank. <laughs> uh, yeah, back in Bali. So I realized that, yeah, there's a lot of need for training, for endurance, and so on. So basic muscle uh, function, yeah? This is an abdominal hold, actually. Inhale, exhale. Remember. Okay, now we we'll just hold the. <laughs> um, yeah, let's continue to hold. Inhale, exhale. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. All right. And again with the arms, shake it off, shake it off. All right. Okay, so this bit with the mm, bridge. Bridge we usually do on the mat, lah. so I guess for bridge, right, we essentially want to just do a bit of a glute clench, glute crunch, sorry, at the same time, a little bit of low back work. So knees bent, right, we're coming up into a bridge, sorry, hip raise, so intentionally raising the hips, squeeze, and then relax, come back down to sitting, so my hands are on the side of the chair, exhale, hip raise, squeeze the glutes, exhale, back down. Deep breath, exhale up, squeeze, lower the body, exhale up, squeeze the glutes, and down, go for four more, exhale, squeezing the glutes, you can arch in the back a little bit, that's fine, and down, three more, squeeze, and arch, down, very good. Two. Squeeze the glutes. Arch the back. And one more. Exhale up. Squeeze. I think this is a movie pose for some poster that's like I don't know. Okay, so that's the glute bridge. Okay. We're gonna do some cool down from the exercise, yeah? So uh, half seated flexor stretch. So again, I'm on half side of the seat, leg towards the back. Just open up the hip flexor, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Quad stretch. Grab the ankle or the foot, pull it to the back. Five, four. Stretching the quads. Yeah. Three, two, one. Switch to the other side of the seat. Step back. Flexor stretch for. Three, two, one. Pull, grab the foot or ankle. Quad stretch. Four, three, two, one. All right. Calf stretch. Pull, reach, reach for the foot. So your knees up here. Reach for the foot. Stretch the calf. Do it here. Five, four, three, two, one, and likewise. Point foot down, exhale five, four, three, two, one. All right, the other side, same thing. Knee up, bring it up, pull the foot, five, four, three, two, one. This is a half stretch now. Yeah? Point down, five, four, three, two, one. Reform this and go onto the knee, lean forward. So it's a good stretch for this leg, yeah? Good. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side. 
Same thing again, lean forward. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and again, upper torso twist. Just twist the sides. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Right, upper torso stretch. Bicep, four, three, two, one. And the side, four, three, two, one. Fingers interlock. Bring it to the head, stretch, pull. All right, so as you hold this position, just think about um, something that you are thankful for for this week. So as you look up, um, you can just redirect those thoughts uh, or to just say, God, I'm thank you. Uh, I'm thankful for blah, blah, blah this week. Thank you for the weather. Thank you for food on the table. Thank you for um, uh, easing of uh, COVID um, measures, restrictions, and so on. Uh, thank you also for a uh, chance for me to meet up with old friends again. Uh, thank you that I learned that you are a good person despite us being not that good, and so on. So, what are you thankful for today? Right, exhale down, pressure a bit onto the hip or stretching out the back of the neck. Yeah? Exhale down, five, four, three, two, one. To the side of the head, stretching out the levator scapula. Down, four, three, two, one. The other side, pull, four, three, two, one. Awesome, thank you so much for joining for the seated chair workout. And feel free to come back anytime to you know, review the exercises or to just uh, practice some of your favorite movements. Awesome. If you want to advance to the next movement, we will be doing mat workouts. So check in again uh, in you know, a few days or next week for a mat workout. Uh, but it will be in increments by, with legs, abs and arms. Alright, thank you and see you again.